Hello everyone, exciting day for me. I'm publishing my new pattern, which is Garden Seeds Socks. Now, so these are uh, fingering weight socks and you need to have two colors to and knit these, uh, main colour and contrast colour. And on the screen I'm going to write it down how many of each do you need. Um, well, I knitted size 2, I believe, 56 stitches. I think that's size 2, but anyway, 56 stitches. And it's toe up sock. So basically you're knitting from the toes, moving up, um, marking to uh, for an afterthought heel just with your markers it's a nice line saying where to mark uh, because of those soil stripes and then once you finish just make sure that you have five rounds of the main color and you continue on the pattern and it is a slip stitch method so I always try to remind you to have a loose floats behind um, even though you slip stitch to create something like this you always hold only one cut strand at a time and we have a quite a fun ribbing over here and a tubular bind off but in the pattern there's also written down a standard I call it a standard tubular a standard bind off so you can have a go if you're interested straight away I'm going to tell you down below there is link to Raverly and hopefully soon Lovecrafts and Raverly when I publish any patterns or I knit them again I um, have a tendency to give 20% off as a thank you for supporting me and watching uh, my videos and following my designs and knitting them so yes thank you thank you so much so check that out because this is a paid for pattern so not really I can share anything more with you. The next thing I can share with you, it's a yarn. But before to say anything, and if you've never knitted socks before, I have already step-by-step -step tutorial how I knit two at a time socks. And now, or really soon in the future, you're going to have a step-by-step -step tutorial and a pattern, hopefully, how to knit one at a time socks. Well, the way I like it and the way I do it uh, when I want to really fast finish a pair of socks. My tips, that too. Therefore, let's move on to yarn. Everything has happened because Sarah, uh, one of my viewers, she followed me on Instagram and she saw my stories that I was missing a yarn for my sleeve for this pattern, for a sweater, and she said that she's going to send me the 250 gram balls to finish that because she has that in her stash. And she was so generous and so kind spirit uh, because she sent me an extra skein and I wasn't sure what to do with it. Straight away I knew I'm going to uh, design a pattern because it's amazing yarn. So what I have over here, East of Three, on the screen you can see it. Um, the color is Jade and we have 7525, we're talking about Merino Nylon. And we have 425 meters, which is 464 yards. So it's like very thick. Uh, finger and yarn. So now please check the screen just in case. And the yarn looks like this. So beautiful. And as you can see, I still have some leftovers because if I recall correctly, I think I was approximately 45 grams. And you can see how it knits up. So nice. And for the contrast color, I used this beautiful gray. Hopefully you can see it. So nice. And I got it from and I got it from my friend from Canada this time. And this is Mary Maxime Simply Sock. Uh, in the shade 001. I think that's that's the shade because I had another one with 002 and I think it's purple. So I'm just saying. So maybe just a reminder how much I use for the main color on the screen and how much I use for contrast color on the screen. Obviously if you're knitting a smaller size or bigger size you may need more yarn. It just I know I know I should have mentioned needles because you try to get uh, to your own gauge and uh, what I used I used US size one which is 2.75 millimeter needles but well and it is a standard uh, needles that I use when I knit even a plain vanilla sock however I would suggest you to go maybe slightly higher uh, with the sizes. So for instance, I could go with US size 1.5, 2.5 millimeter needles and um, But remember the main thing is to get the gauge. So 
get the gauge. But if you don't want to, this is my recommendation. Slightly go slightly higher with needles. Have a loose flat. And last but not least, you need to start with a bag. So definitely grab your favorite bag and maybe go check my shop down below and see if I still have those um, keychains. Okay, I think that's all. I hope you're going to enjoy it. And just to let you know, it may be a series because the previous uh, pair of socks that I knitted on the screen now were called um, Garden View Socks. Um, these are Garden Seed Socks. I'm not sure should I go with a third one. Then I could have a bundle, uh, which sounds quite exciting. But you never know. Subscribe, like, stay on this channel and keep on watching. Bye. If you're watching this video and you have knitted socks, these socks ready, don't forget to take a photo, tag me um, so I can see it and share it with others. Obviously, don't forget to create a project on Reverly so that everyone can see your beautiful socks. Bye.